Hey folks, what's up? Today I am really down with the flu and uh, I am actually on medication and then I've been sleeping, sleeping the whole day. Not really that well, so I <laughs> please do uh, excuse me if my voice is not that, you know, high up. So I hope you can hear it with uh, maybe a headphone or something like that. And I will be doing uh, just a comparison video, nothing serious today because I don't have the energy today uh, to do something that serious or long, maybe to run long, I don't know. I want to talk about one subscriber's uh, request. I did this video in on my Bangladeshi page where with my local crowd and I would like to share my ultimate thoughts on this Aqua, Bulgari Aqua house. And then Aqua actually, you know, has six, six uh, fragrances until now. So which one, the starter of that is this one, Aqua Puram, okay? So this fragrance is the legend for summer freshies. This one changed the definition of summer freshies with a different concept, all right? And uh, this one actually, I'm calling it as a legend because it's, you know, like uh, it uh, has produced number of flankers, which are also big hits, most of them anyway. So I'll talk about them. I have three. I have this one. Then I have the Marine, as well as I think I talked about this in my Aqua uh, review and then Amara, the most beautiful bottle in my opinion. So apart from these three, there are also the tonic version of these two tonic aqua uh, puram tonic and aqua marine puram tonic so those two i tried in malaysia now um, i mean i felt they were cheaper they were going for a cheaper price than this ones but i was wondering like are they worth getting then i was like no the bottles also like not see through so i didn't like the bottles so i i would skip them i I'll, I'll tell what i remember but the last one is i think the atlantic you know bulgari aqua atlantic and i'm pretty sure plenty more to come like sport whatnot so i'll let you know what my thoughts on i tried that as well so instead of trying them side by side i'll talk about each like briefly once again as a summary and uh, i'll tell you uh what it is, what they are and is it worth your time or not so for me the weakest performer okay people who are concerned about performing performance i'll say the weakest performer of all is aquapuram this is the reformulated bottle i don't have the boxes because the box is somewhere else this one has the nicest smell though the for me my personal nose this is the nicest smell deep water from the sea and the thing is i talk about seaweed like everyone does and after reformulation the performance got even suckier than it used to be it i heard that it used to last longer than this definitely and the bottle is to the box is to look different and that one is aqua puram somewhere you know bulgari used to say bulgari here something the thing is the bottle is still amazing pretty amazing if you look at it if you hold it like this i really this is the last one i bought this is the one from bangladesh and the other two are from malaysia i bought with much heavier price tag in bangladesh i think this one is going for 45 dollars or something but you can get it cheaper go for it okay but i i wouldn't pay more than 50 dollars for it in the current market situation so for thing is this one the smell, I said seaweed, but I heard comparisons of people saying it smells like fish in fragrant take a long time ago. I don't know where they get it from, baby, because they're not just very big fan of this kind of bitter water with salt and a little bit of uh, florals and minerals. They are not fan of this kind of scent, so they find it a bit bitter. So to them, they're more safer. They like sweet fragrances for summer. I like everything, but <laughs> this one I appreciate because of what it is. Let me show you the sprayer. I'll talk about it. My nose is a little really blocked because of the flu. My, as you can hear, my voice is not really up, but I can smell with one nose, <laughs> one nostril. Oh wow, this is just, this is, this is everything. The sea water you can imagine, like if you go not by the beach or anything, this is like, imagine, I'll say exclusively what exactly it smells like. You are not by the beach. This is not by the beach scent. You're not on the sand. You are somewhere in the middle of the ocean at night, full moonlit night, and it's very deep, I can smell the salty air in the, like, uh, just after the rain. And you just, like, you know, like, you take a deep sea diving. That's what it feels like. And also, you can smell not only the seaweed, because there are many, plenty other plants down there. So the thing is, there are a lot of other plants, you know, down there moving around. And imagine, they, you know, they, they will definitely have the sea water uh, smell to them, because uh, they are marine life, you know. So the thing is, this is dark marine life sort of a feel very sparkling very aromatic and a little bit spicy manly woodsy bit green starts off blue then goes to the green side and to me this is the perfect ideal office scent on a rainy day that's what i would say you can pick up hugo boss bottle loam thousands of options i'm telling you frankly you can choose whatever you like 
just nothing really loud and you know sickening like one million or I don't know Invictus maybe not a good wear for office this scent if you stay indoors and it's not that hot it's hot all right but you know imagine in the office I said it before if you're in the office school uh, if you are starting your collection I know many people that started with this bottle in their collection so this one if you have a decan small decan carrying around with you I, I suggest you have something in decan carry it in the pocket respray in the middle of the day it will last you the whole day so this fragrance is really beautiful very handsome very formal as well for aquatic so it has a lot of features apart from the longevity it is not the only issue that you have to look for in a bottle it's a very beautiful pebble looking bottle the deep color greenish bluish it looks really pretty so for the smell this is the best for me still for the performance it sucks a little bit because uh, it's not a beast mode performer but as long as it lasts like Gucci Purum 2, the reformulation, same thing happened with this. So I wish I have the original Gucci Purum 2, the vintage version, the darker juice. This one lasts like 7-8 hours on me on the proper day. But I cannot say the same for this. I really wish it lasted a little bit longer, but I can always reapply. Love this juice. For the smell, 10 out of 10. Longevity, 5.5 out of 10 or 6. That's it. But the most handsome and most mature scent, the original Aqua. So let's move on to the next one. The... By the way, they are all summer season, summertime uh, fragrances, maybe except one, okay? Next one is, is as Mark says, Aqua's younger little brother, like fresh younger brother, and he's this smile. <laughs> this is Aquamarine. This is, this is much safer, the other one. That one, original Aqua, not many people will dig this, but definitely they will dig this. This one has the soapy feel, okay? This feels like the, this is the one that, by the beach side, this is not the deep water, sea diving, and it's much lighter so it's like people who like swimming pools yeah maybe compared to the ocean this is like swimming pool but imagine the swimming pool is like infinity pool by the beach and then there's a lot of fresh air coming and there's some florals some neroli some orange blossom somewhere and then someone is doing like next to you someone's doing a like fresh laundry in the you know washing machine and then beautiful the soapy not in a very bad way very nice way fresh soapy laundry that thing is coming up so the bubbles are coming up so detergent smell very clean, very fresh, very uh, uplifting. I think there's a blast of grapefruit somewhere there as well. So very, very, let me try this on my shirt. Okay. Yep. I stood corrected. I, I reviewed this from Malaysia, right? So this is much fresher. I think younger people will really love this and it will get much better performance than the original Aqua. It will last you much longer. Project beautifully. It's a projection beast. This one projects better than the Aqua by three times more. So if you're looking for a nice summer scent, this one I think is still in the, like, definitely, it's a winner. It's a definite winner for summer days, even though it's a little bit dated now, like it has some age to it. But this one needs to be looked at more. The next one gets more, uh, like, coverage now, but I think this is, this is easily the safest of all. And I'll tell you why. Because this one can be worn by anyone, any age, even this one could be unisex, as far as I think. So smell, I'll give this, like, nine because I like it a little bit less than the original Aqua, but very fresh, very bright, sunny day. And uh, I think Coach Rob, he loves this juice. So definitely, very good performer as well. Nice Aquamarine, beautiful scent, and they're all different from each other. So you can absolutely go and get the whole house. No redundant purchases there. The last one I have, I have the, of course, you know, it's the Amara. This one, I was not quite sure, you know, because this one is the one I bought first. Then I bought Amarine and I bought the Aqua. So these ones, these and marine, cost me in Malaysia because Malaysia you pay, that zone you pay, Malaysia and Brunei, Singapore, fragrance are really expensive. Those who are from Malaysia, my Malaysian friends can just uh, like testify to that. These ones are going for like 350 ringgit. That is like 7,000 taka in Bangladesh. That is like 70 US dollars. So people are paying. I did pay half of my collection. I paid retail prices. No regrets because these are beautiful gem of fragrances, okay? So this one, this one, I used to feel this one has that incense feel to it because of that bitter orange mixed with the neroli freshness as well. So I feel this one is a little bit love it or hate it. That's what I said in my first review. But along the time, you know, okay, okay, this one now in Bangladesh is the most popular. I don't know about, so these are all great for Bangladesh or hotter countries, Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Maldives, all my surrounding friends, Thailand, Malaysia zone. This is good, but guess what? In Bangladesh, I get better, better performance from this than in Malaysia. Malaysia, fragrances disappear very, very fast. 
Malaysian <laughs> friends, you can tell, right? So, but if you stay in the office or it's a rainy day, this one will last six, seven hours easily. This is another rainy day scent for me. This one, imagine you're sitting by the beach and it rained. The sand is wet. You're sitting on the wet sand, all right? No longer, sun is no longer available or the sun is going down or it's sunrise, sunset time. It rained and someone is burning a little bit incense and you have uh, some some uh, orange peel that was been like, you know, floating in the sea water and then they're giving some distinctive smell like a bitter water mixed with orange and then the incense, the smoke, it's all bringing to your nose at the same time and you're doing yoga. This is the scent. This one feels very youthful, very, uh, I think ladies can wear this, they'll definitely love I can see it from if you go from this side okay ladies will love this i think okay this is very beautifully done okay this is very nice uh, sometimes feels like floral also i'm not quite sure if it's the neroli but um, it feels like some sort of orange orange color flower all right very nice pleasant scent and very beast mode performer this one performs like savage you know sometimes you think it's not there but it comes back so quality wise the longevity wise this is the best so far for me this is 10 out of 10 for longevity definitely in the whole house all right and i think um, unisex and where to wear it i think night time evening time that's the perfect time after the sun goes down because in the sun sometimes it's be, it smells a bit sour all right so amara beautiful scent and the most beautiful looking bottle all right looks like a i don't know looks really pretty to me <laughs> the last one which i don't have but i tested uh, twice uh, today also I tested. Uh, I tested like a month ago or something when it came out first in Bangladesh. The Atlantic. So the Atlantic thing is like, Burge, Atlantic, Atlantic, however you say it. Many people ask me like, bro, uh, you know, uh, is it worth getting it? Because Versace, Dylan Blue, that one, and then also Mr. Burberry, a lot of them copy uh, the Blue Rational or Savage, right? So that's the basic framework. That's the most popular thing going on, Invictus Aqua. So they asked me like, if I have those other three or one or two, is it worth getting it? I think it's first time what happened was I, was, I tried some heavy fragrances. That, that day I tried, I think, uh, DHP, Durham Parfum, Le Parfum, Tom Ford, Black Orchid, this, that. Imagine after smelling all that, you're not going to smell any of the aquatics, right? So I was a bit disappointed. I'm like, damn, that doesn't smell anything. It's, I don't smell anything, a thing. I dismissed it right away. I'm like, damn, that's not worth the price. And it's like more expensive. That's like Malaysian retail price in Bangladesh. So I'm like, no hell no, I'm not paying for that bottle and I don't like the bottle design that much. The writing on it, it's not nice. But you never should judge the book by its cover or any person or anything on his first impression. So I tried it today. Okay, thing is what I really felt about it, it's, it's, it's not weak because that day, because of those dark fragrances like Durham Intense and stuff, it was maybe that nose. But it's a pretty, if you don't own any of the Aqua line, any of these fragrances or any fresh fragrances all right so you can actually look into that because it's a pretty decent perf uh, fragrance with a nice performance you know like it's, it really performs all right for the hot day you cannot go wrong it has that backbone of savage mixed with the original aqua but not aqua original aqua maybe with marine okay that's what it feels like it has a little bit floral feel to it a little bit of a uh, I mean, youthful vibe to it. Grapefruit, something is in there. I'm not quite sure the notes and everything. But if you ask me, my personal opinion in the whole ranking, how would I rank them? I'll start with this one. This is my most favorite. Most favorite. All right. Smell wise, second, Amara for me. Third one, Marine. This is perfect scent for the sun when it's really, really hot and bright. And then, the next one would be Atlantic because for me, I, I guess I'm just weak towards this fragrance because I've been wearing them for some time and it's new. Maybe with more wearings, it will change my mind. Like I change my mind on these two, just small comparison. No changes, guys, you know, things change. You change your mind. It's not like you are lying or anything, but you know, you prefer different things because you, with time, you see the differences. I used to love Original Invictus way over this. And I never thought I was going to get this. And I decanted most of it. But now I love this. For summer, this is a winner. This is for the winter time. This is a winner. So I love them both. So you never know what you're going to love. But I think if you don't own any of the Bulgari line, maybe you can start with that if you're a younger person. But if you're a little bit more sophisticated nose and you like the smell, performance is not the only thing for you. I suggest you try this first. This is the most handsome and most, 
unique, you know, and it doesn't speak so loudly. That's what I love about this. This is the deepest of them all. For rainy day, perfect. If you're looking for something safest, Amara. This is the performer. This one is projection beast. It's strong. It lasts the longest, even more than Atlantic. And this is the one I think any age can wear it as well, but it will serve you all year. The other ones for winter is going to be a little weak because the incense, this one will be a good winter scent as well. This one for younger folks. This is for bright sunny days, as I told you. Parties, poolside parties, swimming, everything, music, concert, go for it. Fresh, fresh, fresh. All right. So that's that's more or less my ranking. All right. So thank you guys for watching. And I hope this video found you helpful. And uh, do let me know which one you prefer, which ones you have tried, which one you want to buy and um, and why. <laughs> Take care, guys, and pray for me that I can get better. I'll talk to you soon. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh.